It says the operator equals is attempting to reference a deleted function. Okay, so their copy constructor is now being generated with the tick function. They like added that. And what's happening is attempting to reference a deleted function inside of, what, what is this? Let's take a look at why this thing's messed up. I'm not sure. Attempting to reference a deleted function. So why is this getting pissed off? Because it's, well, let's just take a look at the other tick functions that um, exist through our code base and see exactly why this is getting all hissy at us. I guess the other ones don't have a constructor in them, so we should just get rid of our constructor. But I don't like that. Feels messy. I don't like templates. I don't like them. I don't like how they're implemented. Well, let's take a look. How come theirs compiles and ours doesn't? There's is a U struct, we have execute tick, we have a diagnostic message, and that's it. Maybe it's this uh, class here. Dash can any actor pointer, which is freaking out. Let's see if I just just turn this into a void pointer if um, this thing just shuts up. If it has anything to do with this class for declaration not working properly in the template.
Nope, it's still fucked up. Like, alright, so what the hell? Like, why is this getting all pissed at me? Like, is it this declaration that it's an export runtime API thing that's getting it all pissed off? That's the only other thing that we even have here that is different. Well, let's Google some of this. Tick function, copy, copy constructor, issue, unreal. There's a file Yeah. Hey, you shouldn't be using zip any binary files in Git unless it's in like large file storage. It's just. Just don't, don't do it. Uh, what the fuck is this? Like, Asset selector. It's paper to the editor, private paper editor share. Asset selector. I. It looks like inside of our old socket editing, it doesn't have it like so, it's got it like this. So it looks like there, 
They at least changed that to be busted. Yeah, it's one of those things that I like about how Unity now has that text version of your asset files, and you can actually merge those and all that. It works a hell of a lot better than binary files. Text PNG file? No, at least the, the assets like, you know, data assets. Yeah, Unreal, Unreal U assets don't have any sort of text thing, which it'd be nice if they were stored as like JSON files or something else. Like, sure, they'd be bigger on disk and all that, but it'd be nice if they had that option. I know at one point, when I was at Molten Games, we were working on Unreal 4, kind of before it was released to the public. Or working with it, not on it. <laughs> but kind of both at the same time. Uh, we had like this big discussion. I know I wasn't really a part of it, but they were gonna like just go ahead and implement the saving of all U assets as like JSON or XML, and they almost did it, um, but they decided not to. These fucking. Is there is at tools.h? Yes, there is. Alright. This, this h file optimization crap that they put in here, this is the sort of stuff that I really don't like. That, um. They're like, oh, well, now things will compile compile faster for blah, blah, blah. And it's like, yeah, but now, like, I have to re I have to include, like, remember to include 20 million different header files when I actually want to do something. I'm like, sure, the compile time goes down if I'm editing all the code that everything depends on. But when I'm writing code, now it's more difficult. And... I'm not usually editing all the core code, so sure, you guys, Mr. Unreal 4 people, don't have to wait so long. Just buy Incredibuild and let me have my simpler interface, please. Content Browser Singleton. Yeah, again, I have to include all these goddamn header files all over the place because they changed those things.
Just use glove. Well, I've never heard of Colada, so some graphics file specification. There's plenty of specifications. Why not another one, right? These fucking asset tools. Like, give me a break. Your forward declarations are a hack. Don't you see it? Kronos? I don't even know what the hell that is. Yeah, so that would be why. Loaded as shit, but it's XML. That sounds a lot like Java. <laughs> yeah. I was always more a DirectX fan. And OpenGL and all that stuff. I just liked how DirectX made things easier for developers. It seemed more like, you know, hey, we're gonna we're gonna try to make things more simple for you as opposed to just making structure. But I understand that there's a difference there. Alright, so this tick stuff just isn't isn't working. Why is that? Why is this tick function all sorts of jacked up? I think we've done other tick functions that haven't had this sort of crap go on with them, so let's take a look. Did our effects have a secondary tick? Yeah, our effects have a secondary tick. Is it just I need to include something that's not... Or is it one of my includes that's all sorts of screwed up here? Yeah, 21k for Incredibility. Yeah, um, it's an expensive program, but it is damned worth it, especially in a large office where you have a bunch of computers that usually aren't doing very much.
Yeah, I am not sure why this thing is saying, like, the compiler generated a secondary tick function equals operator here. Like, okay. And there's a deleted function, and that is this class.h is being compiled with something. I mean, is it is it that I need to include class.h or some shit? And that's that's what's causing us to be all pissed at me. That the template is exploding because something's not defined or that used to be defined. And Yeah, and Credibuild is, is really nice. It, it'll it break everything up and you can do just... Usually you have tons of machines sitting around in an office. You just throw in Credibuild on them and... Um, and then you build... I mean, do I just need to define a copy constructor?
Does this even need to be a U-struct? Like it's got to be a header issue, otherwise both of these would be having problems. And it's more that like the only thing that is including this dash can affect actor is probably the dash can affect actor instead of like a whole bunch of other stuff. And there's like some header that we are not including. Which is causing this thing to have a bunch of problems. Some class doesn't have a default constructor. Well, there's your fucking default constructor. So it's that our actor doesn't have a default constructor, maybe. It's a fucking pointer. I do not understand why it's not working. If I did, then, well, I would have already fixed it. And template 
stuff is yeah like what the fuck is going on here this is so stupid like so I I copy pasted this thing from like another example of a fucking tick function and it's like give me a goddamn break this this should be a hell of a lot simpler than needing to poke around at 20 million different things to figure out what the fuck is going on here So there is a tick function here, and we've got like all this stuff in it. So I'm guessing it's got to be something inside of these headers that just magically make this crap work, which is just goddamn obnoxious. I mean, that's that's why this like header stuff is just annoying. It's, you know, you don't get good error messages as to why something's messed up. We shouldn't need a scene component, we should need, maybe it's these object macros and core minimal and all this other shit that you absolutely have to get in here for it to make this class. Because we're doing the same damn stuff here, like generate new struct body, and then like we have a default constructor, but that doesn't matter. So it's going to be some secret sauce of headers. So let's see, I would guess it's going to be like object macros or core minimal or something like that. It's not going to be any of these skeletal meshes or assets or cloth sims or any of that. It should just be... If it's going to be any of these for defining the constructors or some other type, then it should be here. Why is there generated one and generated two here? You know, that doesn't make any sense. I don't see a generated one and generated two on anything else. Looks like that gets generated with the ex the exports for the plugin. Thank you, Santa Cron. Have a good sleep. We will continue messing with this crap until we finally figure out what the hell's going on.
mean, this has something to do with this plugin, is what it looks like. Come on, Unreal Forum, stop taking two million years. I mean, some of these things are saying just rebuild, and I really don't want to do that. Yeah, so rebuild the fucking plugin. Like, come on, you can't load the files, I want you to build it. Like, it's not actually generating the Dashkin Editor extension's runtime. generated code like it needs to do that
This is just ridiculous. I mean, what, what the fuck is that? It's... Great, now we just have random ass C++ build issues because some asshole decided to change everything. Close everything. The line endings are no longer consistent in this file. God. Oh, we can't put this in here as a fucking use struct. God damn it. Ah. Uh. course it's going to be some goddamn obscure thing with plugins that nobody else runs into because nobody else has to deal with this shit. Well, the last thing it was trying to compile was dash can affect accurate.cpp.
That doesn't make any sense. Doesn't need to be a use struct. Well, let's try that then, shall we?
So I'm looking up errors with stuff, and apparently this was introduced in 4.15, and there's just some issues, and they didn't explain a damn thing about why it was messed up. They just said, oh, we'll just pull the latest on 4.15. There's a fix for this one issue, and obviously it's not really fixed. They still have issues with copy constructor crap with templates with ustructs, and they're just kind of working around the problem. So there's probably something with the uptick function that's not properly declared. Yeah, and here it goes. So it's just it's it's just generated crap code with their ftick stuff. Well, let's uh Start up the editor and see if it works. So I think we're compiling shaders or something. I think the first time at least runs it has to do a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, we're compiling shaders. Building more textures, building all the things. This looks like it might have finally actually gotten this working. Uh, we'll see. We didn't have to like disable blocks of code to get this to work, so we're going to see if our stuff still holds together. And we don't see any crazy, crazy town insanity from the updated editor, or if the damn thing just crashes at the startup. The only things that we really need to check out probably is the web web stuff 